should drink lots of warm water and eat fruits for vitamins. If you are not cured, you need to go to a hospital. Hello! Meeting again with me, Mrs. Alina Fiftiani. In this lesson, we will study giving advice using should and shouldn't. Well, in the opening video, you can see a girl saying a sentence like this. You should drink a lot of warm water and eat fruits for vitamins. Well, what happened to John? Why does his friend, this girl, give him advice? Alright, watch and understand the video. What's wrong with you, John? You look sick. I don't know what is wrong with me. <laughs> don't you have a cold? What is your symptom? Um, I was shivering and it was cold last night. I think I have a headache too. I also snuffle and cough too. And I'm so tired. Oh my goodness! I'm pretty sure you have a cold. What? It's not even winter yet, and the weather is warm too. John, listen. It's warm in afternoon. But what about in morning? Isn't it cold? It's easy to catch a cold during the change of seasons. I did not know that. I thought I only catch a cold during the winter. You should drink lots of warm water and eat fruits for vitamins. If you are not cured, you need to go to a hospital. Yeah, I should. Okay, have you seen the video? Well done! All right, let us understand the video. Number one, what happened to John? Great, John got cold. Number two, what does his friend advise to John, the girl in the video? Right, the girl advise John should drink a lot of warm water and eat fruits for vitamins. If John is not cured, he should go to the hospital. Baikan anak, setelah kamu menonton video, kita memahami video dari dua pertanyaan tersebut. Tapi, Mem Alina minta kamu perhatikan nasihat anak perempuan itu kepada John. Coba kita lihat kalimat pertama. John should drink a lot of warm water. Anak perempuan itu menggunakan kata should. Should drink a lot of warm water. Dan yang kalimat kedua. If John is not cured, he should go to the hospital. Should go to the hospital. Well, apa sih should itu? Should digunakan untuk memberi saran dan nasihat untuk dilakukan. Sedangkan kita juga akan mengenal should not atau bisa disingkat dengan shouldn't. Should not atau shouldn't digunakan untuk memberi saran atau nasihat agar tidak dilakukan. Yuk, kita lihat rumus atau susunannya. Let's see the pattern. The first one is the positive pattern. Subject plus should plus verb one. Look at the example. You should take a rest. He should go to the dentist. Coba kamu lihat. Walaupun subjeknya you atau he, ketika menggunakan should, kata kerja yang digunakan tetap berbentuk kata kerja pertama. Tidak boleh ditambah apa-apa ya. Jadi bukan he should go, tetapi he should go to the dentist. 
Very easy, right? Okay, now let's check. Should it? Subject plus should not or shouldn't plus verb one. The example, you shouldn't eat sweets. You shouldn't drink soda. Okay, bagaimana mem kalau kita menggunakan he sama seperti tadi? Walaupun he, kata kerjanya tetap harus berbentuk pertama. Misalnya kita ganti kalimat yang kedua dengan he ya. He shouldn't drink soda. Oke, okay, it's very easy, right? Well, to make you more understand, we will watch the next video. Watch the video, understand the video, and if possible, make some notes. Oke, okay, let's watch the video. Giving advice with should and shouldn't. Read, listen, and repeat. I'm tired. I think you should go to bed. I think you should go to bed. You shouldn't go to the cinema. You shouldn't go to the cinema. I have a toothache. You should go to the dentist. You should go to the dentist. You shouldn't eat sweets. You shouldn't eat sweets. I'm too fat. You shouldn't eat cookies and sweets. You shouldn't eat cookies and sweets. You should eat more fruits and vegetables. You should eat more fruits and vegetables. You shouldn't drink soda. You should drink water. You shouldn't drink soda. You should drink water. Yay! Very easy, isn't it? Yes, I am sure you are understand the material today. Our material today is giving advice using should and shouldn't. Okay, very good. Well done, student. We will see in the next material. See you next time.